We're going to try this little buzz of the day. It's one that works really well for me. Um, early in the season, fish quite deep. Um, the little colour additions on it really make it pop. And that's, for me, what really does it. It's just, it's fishing deep down when it's bright and it's sunny. This fly really does uh, work a treat. So let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing I'm going to do is put a size 10 hooking device. This is a Kamazan B175 size 10. Excuse me. So a B175 size 10. The thread I'm using, it's a 7 or uni thread. UTC, sorry. UTC. And I'm just going to come in. Oh dear. I'm just going to come in and get a little bit of thread on the hook here. I've then got this really fine French silver wire. I'm going to catch that in at the top there. Winding down and touching turns as close as you dare. Just come around the bend, back up. I like to do a couple of um, up and down the body on this, just in case I get any gaps. You shouldn't, but just in case. Stopping at the thorax there. So I'm now going to come up with quite open wraps. One, two, three, four. Five is enough. Lock that in on my side of the hook shank and bring your thread right up to the eye and then twizzle them off. Couple of turns, the thread just to build this thorax up just a little bit, not too much, we can do that later. And the way to build a a decent thorax is you go end to end and then start going working for it less of the end into the middle if that makes sense less of the end into the middle so you get like a bulbous bit in the middle basically like so you can see that starting to take shape by the time you get the rest of the materials on you'll see it better so right to the end and I've got some pearl Size 14 miler. And I'm just going to take a short length of that and wind it on as a collar. Right on the thread, right on this silver wire. So just come up a little bit, stick a whip finish in. And then just, you want like a couple of turns of this stuff. A bit like a Vicar buzzer, really. A couple of turns, lock it off. And then in with your scissors, snip away that excess. So you now go over the thorax again. Over the thorax, right to the eye of the hook. And now we've got to come back to a tying in point here. And I've got this stuff. It's uh, an orange, bright orange holographic tinsel. And we've got to get a little bit one side and a little bit the other side. So on my side of the hook, shan't catch that in. You want it as close. I want that as close to the olive as a dare. Sorry, another olive. The pearl mila, like so. So now we build up again, making sure that we cover every single bit of the holographic tinsel. Every bit covered. This just creates the biggest, the bigger thorax area. It doesn't look like there's anything about it, but I just check yeah, that's it. So, yeah, 
I think. So now all I'm going to do is come up, catch in with a little pinching loop there, two turns. That's that, that's that, that side. And then, oops, that'll teach me for being cocky. Back up to the eye, cross over, secure. And then same on this side, cross over. I should have left that a little bit longer actually, and secure. Couple of wraps to secure it. Bring my scissors, pull everything back, snip as close as I dare. And then just tidy up. Like so. Quick finish. So you've got your, your holographic orange and you've got your um, your holographic orange and your little bit of pearl. I then come in with this stuff and give it a coat. Coat the whole fly. I might actually take this off the way so I can. I really like this super glue because I stick a coat of this on and then just one varnish. It saves me doing three and four coats of varnish. And that's him. And all I do after that is add a single coat of varnish and that's him done. That's a little fly there. Just a, a really, really good pattern that works well for me early season. And one that I really wouldn't be out without now. I've got plain buzzers, but my bling buzzers, this tends to be my favourite. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, folks, please subscribe to my channel. There's plenty more fly fish and fly time videos on there. Take care, folks. And bye-bye.